Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Jerry from Central Park Bees. And uh, here in front of you, we're introducing a, a honey called Swahili honey. Okay. It's pure, it's local, it's natural. Okay. Nothing added, no preservatives. Okay. You're welcome for our products inside and outside uh, our country boundaries, especially you guys from America, uh, people from other countries. It's fine. This is just a taste that will blow your mind. Wow. Oh, welcome. A hundred percent. All right. And, and I got a chance to taste it, you guys. We and got sachets. Yes. So we Tell got us. 500 grams. Okay. We got 30 grams and one kilogram. Okay. And now so, is it, what are the prices looking like for this red big one right here? All right. This big one goes by 15,000. 15,000 yes. shillings. Okay. Yes. And this uh, 500 grams by 10,000. Ten thousand shillings, which is about four dollars and something. Okay. All right. And this thirty grams by a thousand five hundred. Okay. And sachets, we used to sell them by four thousand. Okay. Four thousand for two, four, six. No, for a whole pack. For a whole okay. pack. How many is in there? It looks like six. Six. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. All so right. grown right here in Tanzania. Right here in Tanzania. All right. Yeah. This is. I mean, like I said, you can make your teas and everything. Y'all got a whole stock right back here. No, is this a black one? Yes, yes. The CEO is around the corner, you guys, so he can keep his head out, but he's busy at the administrative meetings. And, uh, and so this is located at Mickle Cheney's, okay? This is Mickle Cheney, so anybody coming from America or wherever you might be coming, you want 100% uh, pure local honey, then you come and look this business up. It's a black owned business. And uh, the honey tastes so delicious, so sweet. Comes straight from the the beehive. And um, if y'all decide to come in, the prices is is very reasonable. They have them in jars and bottles, even like the even the small one. Yes, you can have you some tea. Decide you want to make some some hot tea or whatever you choose to do with the honey you know back in the day we used to have lemon and honey especially like in the winter time so yeah this is this is beautiful so come out and support these brothers and uh yeah i just want to give y'all a little shot of this company so re repeat your name one more time for me and also the name of the company again our company, company name is called Central Park Bees. Central Park Bees, okay. Limited. We're dealing Limited. with money, including uh, providing education about beekeeping. Okay. But also the, the um, let's say, the um, bee wearings and all stuff, but inclusively honey. All right. Yes. yes. Here in front of you, we have Swahili honey. This is a very, very, very inclusive product from Central Park Bees. Okay. Here comes in front of you one kilogram for 15,000 and uh, 500 grams by 10,000. Okay. And we have 30 grams by 1,500 and have sachets for 4,000. Okay. All right. Believe me, this so, test will blow your mind. You should try one. And you're going to fall in love. One. Yes, it's Joy to Zion. Sweet. Organic. Lucker. Sweet honey, you'll be saying, I love this honey. <laughs> I got video going. This is all pure local honey straight from Tanzania. Look at the bee. Yeah. 100%. Look, we got guests from America. We had noticed that there was a very huge gift and a very big opportunity of honey in this country. As a country, Tanzania is able to extract more than 136 tons per year, but only 30% of it is being utilized. A lot of honey that is being extracted from our local beekeepers is just ending up in the informal streets. 
Why? Because most of the beekeepers do not use modern equipment, modern procedures for, for them to be able to uh, attain a quality product and a competitive one across the country and even outside the world. So as for Liliani, we brought a solution by educating the local beekeepers, by giving them finance and equipment, and in turn, we purchase the honey from them, and then we brand it as much as we get this one. Nice. Yeah. Special responsibility that they are taking charge of. Good. Yeah. So ends up in the informal market because it's not. Informal. Okay, now can you tell us where we can find you at? Are you on Instagram, Facebook? All right. Our Instagram is called Swahili Honey. Okay. Uh, when you get into Instagram page, you'll find our products, you'll find our location, you'll find a lot of processes we're doing okay. in uh, harnessing this honey and okay. packaging in this honey. Oh, okay. So, Interesting. Okay. Y'all welcome in our Instagram page as well as Facebook. All right. All right. Man. Okay, so they can find you on Facebook under what is it under when you go to Facebook? Is it under no. Central Park? No, in Facebook it's called Swahili Honey too. Swahili, Swahili Honey? Yes. Okay. Because we are just Swahilians. Okay. In nationality. So this is just a product probably for Swahili and okay. other people internationally. Okay. okay. It's local, it's pure. Pure. So, you can't be pure, like 100% pure. 100% pure. In other words, them bees don't be messing around. They be making that honey. Make that honey pop. Make that honey pop. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Thank you, brother. We appreciate that. I appreciate thank you for you. Yeah, we will put it out there for you guys. So anybody coming in from whatever country, whether America, or anywhere, stop by and um, visit these brothers. Show them some love. And can you also give us your the location? Is it Mikkel Cheney? What's the location? Uh, the location uh, straight away from Morocco. We are located at Mikkel Cheney Plaza. Okay. In this building. Uh -huh. uh, we're just in our first uh, first place when you come in the building. Okay. On our first suite. Okay. Just in front. Okay. In front of you guys. You see me in front of you? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's on Mika Cheney, y'all. Yeah. All right, then. We're going to sign out. Thank you, brother. One love. One love. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>